guys, my name is Michaela, and you are watching a Fun Size Style. Today's video is, of course, another Ipsy unboxing and bagging, whatever you gals like to call this video. I'm so excited to bring you guys this video because you know me and my Ipsy. It's one of my favorite times of the month, but you'd also know that I'm a little bit behind on my Ipsy videos, so we're playing catch up because if you'll see my last video, or like several videos ago now, I guess, I went on a little YouTube hiatus for some things just going on in my life and that have been on my mind, so you can watch that video to check it out, but in the meantime, or because of that, I'm playing catch up a little bit with some of my videos and this Ipsy bag box unboxing, unbagging for those videos, but nonetheless, I'm still really excited to bring you this video and I hope that you're still really excited to watch it. Um, I'm also really excited, again, thank you to Ipsy because uh, if you're new around here, Ipsy does send me this package at, like as PR to share with my audience, so I'm really excited to share with you what was inside May 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. As always, I have my link down in the description box below where you can sign up for Ipsy and then also I list the products individually as well if there's a particular product that catches your eye that you're interested in trying. So without further ado, everybody who is a part of the Fun Size Style community knows all about Ipsy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into May 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. So this is May 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag. I really like the floral design. I love the color of the back of this bag. I will be honest, purple is like one of my least favorite colors, so I don't I don't love it for that reason, but like the floral print is really pretty and perfect for spring for the month of May. But more importantly, let's go ahead and see what the contents of the bag are. The first product that I pulled out of the May 2022 glove bag is by the brand Love Craft Beauty. And this is an eyeshadow primer, which I'm really glad about because I'm actually almost out of the, my current eyeshadow primer that I'm using. I really like it. I'm not too picky about eyeshadow primer. I feel like I've tried a product from Love Craft Beauty before from Ipsy, but it must have been like years ago because I'm not remembering what product it was, but I recognize this brand, I swear, if it's the same brand I'm thinking of. But I'm going to go ahead and just open it. I like to see, like, check out the consistency of eyeshadow primer. Oh, I love this one because it's like more of like a neutral color. A lot of the eyeshadow primers I feel like nowadays have like a white, almost like a white base and it just, I don't know. Or they're so light that it just looks white on me and I'm like white as a ghost as you can tell. I love this. It has just a really nice blend. You can't even see it but I can tell. I love the formula of it. It's not too like, a lot of, of I shouldn't say a lot but if you the eyeshadow primers that I've tried have like a strange consistency, but I really like the consistency of this one. It's really smooth and I'm just overall really excited to use this one when I start using, or when I run out of my current eyeshadow primer that I'm using that I can't wait to share with you guys about in a upcoming products I've used up video. Because I've actually used up so much makeup lately, which is really, really great. So I'm excited to try some new things. I always get a little bit sad when I see First Aid Beauty products in my Ipsy bag. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. I don't love First Aid Beauty. I know it's like one of the most popular brands within the beauty and skincare space here on YouTube. But I just don't love it. Their products have never really worked for me. I don't love the ingredients that they use in their products. And... But I know a lot of people who love their products, so it just goes to show that literally everything works different for everybody. Um, but I do get a little bit bummed just because I seem to get so much First Aid Beauty stuff in my Ipsy bags. I think I get one like every month or every other month. It's a very popular brand that's partnered with Ipsy and they put a lot of their products in their Glam Bags and Glam Bag Plus. But I just pass them along and yeah, that's really not much say about it and it's kind of a bummer for me too because I remember when it was like first all the rage it seemed like really marketed towards sensitive skin and I have the most 
sensitive skin. Um, I have like this weird going on above my lip even, but you can't tell because I have it covered up with makeup. Like, I just have very sensitive skin. So with skincare products, I have to be extra cautious at what products I use. And so um, I just don't have much, much to say when it comes to first aid beauty, but that's just my personal preference and these products may be great for me. The next product that I received in my May 2022 Glam Bag, I never know how to say this brand, so it'll be here on the screen. And of course, I'll have it linked down below with everything else. Body cleanser, I don't really use stuff like this. It says this magical body cleanser is infused with hydrating jojoba. I, I never know how to say that right either. Seed and rose hip oil. Get wet, use your hand, a uh, loofah, and rinse clean. Okay, I guess it's literally what it says it is, a body cleanser. It's not like body wash. I, I don't know. I need to look more into this. I don't use a lot of these extra things. I just get in the shower and get out. I don't know. I know a lot of people like to like do the do all the skincare stuff in the shower and like do the body creams and the like the whole nine yards in the shower but I'm just like a get in and get out kind of gal I don't know so need to look more into this I I am really excited because it says it's made in the USA and I love brands and like skincare and beauty brands especially that are made in the US because I feel like so many of them are not so this is really exciting I never knew that this brand was made in the US. The next product that I pull out of my May glam bag is an eyeliner. We know about eyeliner here on Fun Size Style, so we're not even gonna go there, but I will share like what brand it is. So this is by the brand Black Magic, and it's the Co Edit Liquid Liner. So this is a brown liner. This is not a typical black liner, but again, we know about eyeliner around here on Fun Size Style. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, bore you with that whole spiel again. But if you do like liner, it actually looks like a really, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to be a really nice one if you do enjoy liner. This is the last product in my Ipsy Glam Bag for May 2022. And I'm so excited about this. This is a new brand that I haven't heard of and I'm really excited about it. This is by the brand Fresh. Oh, this is not by the brand Fresh Start. That's the name of... The palette, it said on the, this is, on the top here is the brand name. This is by the brand Complex Culture. And I have several products on this brand, again, because of Ipsy. So, I don't think I've ever tried any of their eyeshadow, though. May have, but it's been a while, so I'm excited to see what this palette looks like. Ooh, I love these. These are so pretty. And I feel like this is truly a fun-sized palette. Like, the... Shades are so, so small, which I kind of like, and I know I can hear already some people not complaining, but I guess complaining like that there's not much product, but I feel like eyeshadow, because I wear eyeshadow every time I wear makeup, and eyeshadow is just one of those makeup products that take forever to use, even if you wear it every day, so I kind of like that there's not as much product in here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch Okay, so these are so hard to see. I... Need a better way to show you gals swatches because I feel like you can never see my swatches well. But I'm very impressed with how these shadows are just blending out so far. And this is, of course, without primer. I'm really, really impressed, especially with that white shimmer. I feel like those can be kind of hard to see sometimes. But those are so, these are so pretty. And I'm really excited to put these to the test. So that is everything in my Ipsy at Glen Bag for May 2022. Um, I think it was pretty good this month. The only two products that I'm like over the moon about are the eyeshadow palette and then the eyeshadow primer. I'm going to look more into the body cleanser, but the eyeliner and the first aid beauty product I'm not super stoked about, so I'll be honest. This glam bag did, was not that great this month. Usually, pretty consecutively, there's at least three products that I enjoy that I'm like really excited about in the glam bag, but this month there was only two that I was super excited about. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I will be honest, I did do a little sneak peek of my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I think that's going to be the redeemer in this video. So here's what the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus looks like. It's really interesting because usually the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is more of a corresponding bag. Like, let's say if the Ipsy Glam Bag is pink with red stripes, 
the glam bag will be red with pink stripes. But this is a complete copy paste of the Ipsy glam bag design this month, which is fine. Like, it's still really, really pretty. So, um, that's what this month's glam bag plus looks like. Getting into the Ipsy glam bag plus products now, just a reminder that all the products for the, in the Ipsy glam bag plus are full size. The first product that I pull out of my Ipsy glam bag is by the brand Kate Somerville. And this is, it specifically says here that this specific product is made for sensitive skin, which we just got done talking about with another product, so that's exciting. Ooh, this is Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. Wait, this actually, look, I bet you it's going to be so nice. I'm excited about this. This product is also sulfate-free, which is important to me. Ooh, I'm going to open this up. Usually, I haven't found a Kate Somerville product that I, like, super love. I don't know, like, something about the name Goat Milk and, like, cleanser. Just, like, I can feel my skin getting smoother already. I'm excited about this. Ooh, the packaging is so nice. I'm excited about this. I need to do an updated skincare products video too, and I feel like this may make the list. I'm excited to try this and I will keep you posted. Usually I don't get super excited about skincare products in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but I don't know, something about this tells me the name, again, Goat Milk Cleanser. I can just feel my, my skin getting softer and smoother already, and I haven't even used it yet, so. I'm excited. If you've tried the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser, please let me know how you like it and or if you like it at all. Going from one skincare product to the next, uh, one that I'm very excited about to one that I'm not super excited about. Um, this is by the brand Pearl Nova and it's a hydrating cream, like a hand cream. It has a very strong fragrance. I prefer my products not to have fragrance, but essential oils I don't like in my products, I just prefer sensitive, or oh, sensitive, fragrance free products across the board with my skincare. I just feel like fragrances make me sneeze. I don't know. I just, I don't. And the term fragrance can mean all kinds of things. In the US it has very broad standards on the term fragrance. I recommend that you look into it sometime. It's very interesting. I don't even have this product opened and I can already smell it. It has a very strong fragrance, so I won't be using this product or keeping. And I've actually heard really good reviews about it from other people that really enjoy creams and things like that. So, but this is just my personal preference on products like these. I was super excited to see that I received this product in my FC glam bag because this brand is a luxury brand for sure. Very expensive. This is the Soft Focus Glow Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. I really like glow drops if I'm sure you've heard of this tip before, but especially for the summertime, it's really fun to mix your foundation with like some glow drops like these. And it just creates a very illuminating glowy look with your makeup. And again, Rodeal, I think that's how you say it, is a very luxury brand, so I'm sure these are incredibly high quality. Not to mention their products are just usually yeah, so pretty to sit out on your vanity, like even the packaging, like it just, you know this is a nice, like high quality product, even just by the packaging. So I'm really excited to put these glow, glow drops, I don't know why that was so difficult to say, glow drops to the test um, the next time I do my makeup. All right, you know what? I'm actually gonna swatch because I wanna see, whoa, how glowy it is. Oh, these are interesting, okay. Comes like with a bigger dropper than normal, I feel. I'm literally just, like, I'm putting a few drops. Yeah, I don't even know if you can tell, but it's super glowy. Again, I'll try to find pictures that show it better, but I love the consistency. Super smooth, like, these are nice, let me just say. Like, these are nice. This is not drugstore liquid highlighter or anything like that. Like, these are super nice. And then we have some kind of palette here. I was really intrigued by this. I have no idea what brand it is or anything. It's by the brand Formula Z, it looks like. The Transforming Beauty palette. I have no idea if this is like a blush palette, a highlight palette, an eyeshadow palette. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. So this is like a blonde light and bronzer palette. Here's what it looks like. This reminds me of some like Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, this is nice. I'm going to go ahead and 
Swatch these. So much pigment. This lighting tonight is just not great, but pictures will be included. I think this is going to be my new, or you can still see the swatches, my new favorite blush bronzer highlight palette. The bronzer is like shimmery, and I prefer my bronzers to be matte, but I think for the summer it will be super fun to have like a shimmery bronzer and like go out of my comfort zone with makeup. Like honestly shook by the pigmentation and just the consistency and like it's buttery. Like it's so, and I've never heard of this brand or heard anybody talk about this. I'm excited and I'm picky about just makeup in general, but specifically like face products. I, um, like if they're con with consistency because it really, if your base face products are not great, it makes your whole entire makeup look not look great if that makes sense. But I'm excited. You're going to see this in a current favorites video coming up. I just know it and I will of course link everything but specifically and especially remember to link this product because you want to treat yourself to a really nice palette as a treat to yourself. I can already tell this is going to be the one and I think everyone should try. The last product that I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for May 2022 is a lip liner by the brand Beauty For Real and I'm excited to swatch this product. I received a Beauty For Real Eyeliner Duo a few months ago. Um, again, eyeliner, we won't go there, but I'm really excited to try this lip liner. Like, so many of the products in my Ipsy Glam Bag this month are like so buttery and like, like so many of the products in my Ipsy Glam Bag this month are like so smooth and buttery and just the quality of these products this month, like I'm not just saying this just because Ipsy sent these to me like if you've been around fun size style, I'll tell ya I don't like a product so I don't know I can't explain it there's just something about the products this month so again so buttery and smooth like I love the consistency, consistency of this lip liner and lip liners I feel like can be really thin and like drying but this just has the perfect tip like the perfect thickness of a tip that I like for lip liner because I feel like so many lip liners are just too thin and I know in some respects like obviously lip liner is supposed to be like that but there really are so many lip liners out there that are just too thin in my opinion and this just has again the perfect tip thickness and I could just tell by the swatch th th it was buttery and obviously you can tell like it's super pigmented. I'm trying to figure out what shade this is in. Oh, it's just in the shade neutral. But it is so, so pretty and I'm excited to use this product. Ipsy Glam Bag Plus definitely blew it out of the water this month compared to the Ipsy Glam Bag. So I definitely way prefer my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month over my Glam Bag. But overall, those were all the products in my Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus this month. So those were all the products that I received this month for my May 2022 Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. Again, thank you to Ipsy for sending me this package to share the contents or what the contents were with my audience. Real, your favorite product that I received in my Glam Bag or Glam Bag Plus this month, what, what product you were most intrigued or excited about. Again, all the links will be down below. Thank you again to Ipsy for these products. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.